Welcome to Basel II training program. Today we are going to talk about operational risk management. The Basel Committee Sound Practices set out 10 principles relating to operational risk. They did not lift them scattered just like this. So the Basel Committee decided to categorize these principles into four main areas. These areas are risk management environment, risk management activities, role of supervisors, role of disclosure. Please join us to explore these areas. The first area is looking in developing an appropriate risk management environment and it's mainly focusing on the board of directors and senior managers role. The principles covered in this area are principle number one, principle number two, principle number three. Principle number one is simply stating that the board of directors should be aware of all major aspects of the bank operational risk and they should approve and periodically review the bank operational risk management framework. Principle number two is simply stating that board of directors should ensure that bank operational risk management framework is subject to effective and comprehensive internal audits. Principle number three is saying that senior management should implement operational risk management framework and develop policies, process, and procedure for managing operational risks in all of the bank material, products, activity, process, and system. The second area looks at the risk management activity. Actually, this area is focusing on the bank itself as a one unit. The principles covered in this area are principle number four, number five, number six, and number seven. Principle number four is stating that the bank should identify and assess the operational risk in all material, products, activities, processes, and systems. Principle number five is stating that the bank should regularly monitor its operational risk profile. Principle number six is state that the bank should have policies, process, and procedure to control and or mitigate material operational risk. And finally, principle number seven states that banks should have business continuity plan to cope with severe business disruption. The third area is covering the role of supervisors. Here we look at the principles that explain what banking supervisor should do to check if the bank is following sound practices. Principle number eight is stating that banking supervisor should make sure that all banks have an effective framework to identify, assess, monitor, control, and or mitigate all material operational risks. Principle number nine is stating that supervisors should conduct regular independent evaluation of the bank policies, procedure, and practice related to operational risk. The fourth area looks at the role of disclosure, which explains the importance of public disclosure of information concerning a bank operational risk. The principle covered in this area are principle number 10, which states that banks should make sufficient public disclosure. My dear, remember that learning can always be fun. So have fun while you are learning. 